and God raised a leadership that feared no man I saw politicians being arrested they were arrested without fear I saw pastors listen I saw pastors being arrested all the pastors that were supporting them to loot money were also arrested they were caught because they participated in it and they were all caught and chained and arrested and I saw men in their fluent Agbada yet arrested they were saying don't push me like that and yet they were pushed Holy Spirit told me the man will rule Nigeria and it showed me four years for the man to rule Nigeria and bring Nigeria back to his position but the liars who call themselves Christian leaders in Nigeria lie to the people only because they are participating in ungodly acts with the politicians in a short time their judgment will begin no I'm telling you what I've seen some people will mourn and weep when they open their Pandora's boxes out. The destiny of that nation God revealed to me. When people were queuing all over the world looking for, begging for visa to go to Nigeria because Nigeria was abundantly blessed. But God gave them one chance. After that man, Buhari, he's supposed to root a young man before who there's no pebble. I saw it before Buhari showed up. Some days ago, I was in the visions of God. And the Lord took me again into the scenario. And the Lord spoke to me, he said, David wants to build me a house, but David will not build my house, but Solomon. Because David's hand is filled with blood. So David will not be the one to fight corruption. Even though David has made provision, but Solomon will build my house. This country will fight corruption and win the battle. Amen. And corruption will be a thing of the past. We are crossing the bridge to where? Great, very great country. It's beyond, beyond the bridge. When we cross the bridge, we come down, we now see a new Nigeria. This Nigeria we are now is still old Nigeria. The new Nigeria we need to cross the bridge to get there. In that bridge, there they will ask me what have I contributed to the troubled Nigeria pass through. They will ask you what you have contributed on the bridge. That is where judge may come. Because God is preparing a young man for Nigeria, but they cry for another leader, and God give them buhari to train them so that they can be able to sit right to accept god's will and god's uh, uh, uh choosing one and as far as i'm concerned the coming election the one that god told me is a young boy a great change is going to come in your country a great change in the natural and in the spiritual a political change is going to come and as it will affect in the political the change so will it affect in the spiritual a change is coming a younger team will be appointed A transition as Elijah transitioned into a younger Elisha. A change is coming. So get ready to put on new shoes. Cast away your old thinking. Cast away the old wine skin that you may be ready with a new wine skin new wine skin of your heart new wine skin of your mind new wine skin of your ability to accept the new things that god will do so that a new wine can be poured into this nation 
And this new wine will heal this nation. It will heal the factional infighting in this nation. It will heal the tribal wars. It will heal. And the swords and the spears will be turned into plowshares. Nigeria, your next president is a youth. I don't want to care whatever anyone may say. Your next president is a youth. God has left fathers. And God has located a youth. I see a name starting with S. And I see a share. And I see S. Sitting on the share. And the country become peaceful. Let's say hello to the future. Yeah? Yeah? Just say take it back. Take it back. <laughs> take your country back.